Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode I showed you quickly how to get Gil by doing the Sea Stone Mission 7 and collecting bomb cores and then selling them at a shop. Also I explained that by doing Mission 7 you will occasionally get a Tetradic Crown accessory or a Tetradic Terra. The Tetradic Terra can be sold for 40,000 Gil and the Tetradic Crown can be sold for 15,000 Gil. However, for the first three that you get, I highly recommend to transform them into something called Sprint Shoes. Now, what Sprint Shoes does is it gives you auto haste at the start of battle, and it's really useful for all battles. So this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Sprint Shoes from the Tetradic Crown and the Tetradic Terra. Alright, so we're going to start off with the Tetradic Terra because it's a whole lot easier. <sighs> so first of all, just go to a shop at a save point. Or no, go to a save point and then go to upgrade. And then upgrade accessories. And find the Tetradic Terra. And then go ahead and upgrade it to max level. So as you can see, you need 2,000 points to upgrade it to max. So I'm going to use these bombshells here. And then these bomb ashes. And once you get 2,000 experience points onto the Tetradic Terra, it will go from level 1 to Tetradic Terra Star, meaning that it's at its max level. Alright, so once you have the Tetradic Terra with a star next to it, meaning it's at its max level, <clears throat> go ahead and press B and go back to where it says Upgrade or Dismantle, and choose to Dismantle. Then go down to your Accessories, <clears throat> and you're going to want to dismantle three accessories. Now in case you guys don't know, when you dismantle an accessory, that completely removes it from your inventory permanently. And it gives you some something else that you pretty much salvage from the dismantled accessory. So I would choose any accessory you want, preferably one that you'll never use again. So these silver bangles, they only increase your max HP by 100. Iron bangles only increase your HP by 50, but I don't have any. So I'll never use these silver bangles again, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, dismantle them. So by dismantling the first uh, accessory, you'll get a transformer. Dismantle the second one, and you'll get a transformer. And then dismantle the third one and depending on what accessory you dismantle you'll get something different but it's all minor so once you've dismantled three different accessories <clears throat> go down to the tetradic terra with the star beside it that you upgrade earlier and choose to dismantle this now when you dismantle the tetradic terra with a star beside it if you did everything right you should obtain a vial of perfume you obtain a shield talisman, you obtain a soul front talisman, you obtain a shroud shrouding talisman, and you obtain a pair of sprint shoes. Alright, so as you can see, by dismantling the Tetradic Crown after you maxima maxim max it out and upgrade it to its uh, highest level, which is represented by a star, then you're going to want to disassemble any three accessories. Once you disassemble any three accessories, dismantle the Tetradic Terra that you fully upgraded, and you'll get a pair of Sprint Shoes. So this is the first way you can get Sprint Shoes. Now, whenever you do get the Sprint Shoes, people say that if you upgrade them, the auto haste will last longer. Well, I just want to tell you guys that is not true. 
um, when you upgrade um, the sprint shoes, all it does is whenever you decide to dismantle it, if you ever want to dismantle it, you'll get better items. And that goes for all accessories at their max form, um, except for accessories that have like HP boost or like damage resistance boost, but like anything with like auto haste or auto protect, auto shell, stuff like that. Um, once you have it in its final form, you don't need to upgrade it because upgrading it won't change how long you have auto haste for or anything like that. All it means is that whenever you want to dismantle it in the future, you'll get better um, items if it has a star beside it. So I just like uh, upgrading it because, you know, I like seeing the little star beside it. Um, so let me see if I can find something here. Alright, so I'm just going to put the little star beside it because <laughs> I like seeing it for some reason. Alright, so now that we got the first pair of sprint shoes, let me show you guys how to obtain the pair of sprint shoes from a tetradic crown. Alright, so first of all, back out and go to shop. And... If you want, you can go to BMW Outfitters and buy three iron bangles. That way you don't have to dismantle any of your other accessories. Um, and it's only 1500 gil, so that's really nothing. So if you don't have any iron bangles, just buy three of them. And more importantly, go to the mother load and buy a pearl, pearl viscite. Um, now these cost $30,000. So if, um, if you don't have 30,000 gil, you're not going to be able to do this with the Tetra uh, Crown. But if you do have 30,000, go ahead and buy one Paraviskite. Alright, so now you got everything you need. Go ahead and go to Upgrade. And go down to the Tetra Crown. Now you're going to need 1,000 experience to max it out. Alright, so once you've got enough components to max out the Tetra Crown, it'll go from level 1 to a star. And that means it's at its max level. And just like before, once you have the Tetra Crown with a star beside it, back out and go to Dismantle. And then go down to your accessories and dismantle your three iron bangles that you just purchased. Once you've dismantled your three iron bangles, dismantle the tetradic crown. And if you did it right, you should obtain these. <clears throat> you obtain a green needle, you obtain a guardian amulet, you obtain an auric amulet, you obtain a watchman's amulet, and you obtain a pair of Hermes sandals. So the Hermes sandals are what you're going to upgrade into sprint shoes. Alright, so now that you've done that, Go back to upgrade and go to accessories. Now go down to your Hermes sandals. <clears throat> now you need 600 exp um, experience to max out the Hermes sandals. So go ahead and find something that'll give you 600 experience. And then the level will improve your Hermes sandals from level one. Go to Hermes sandals with a star, indicating it's at its max level. And then now you can't upgrade it anymore with any um, any components. Now this is the same as weapons. The weapons are the same way. Once they have a star beside it, you can't upgrade it. You have to transform it. So once you have the Hermes sandals with a star next to it, go down to your Perovaskite upgrade crystal that you bought and go ahead and use it on the Hermes sandals star. It'll say upgrade this item, choose yes. And your Hermes sandals star, which is critical haste, transforms to sprint shoes level one, which is auto haste. All right. 
and now that we have two uh two pairs of sprint shoes again once you have the sprint shoes in general you don't have to upgrade it anymore unless you're trying to dismantle it for some reason um, but yeah So, I just like upgrading it because of the little star that's next to it. <laughs> it makes it look cooler. Alright, but now you guys know how to upgrade um, and get sprint shoes from a Tetradic Crown or a Tetradic Terra. So, this is the easiest way I know. Tetradic Terras are a whole lot better um, because you can find both the accessories from fighting the Sea Stone Mission 7. While you're here getting gill, you'll occasionally get the accessories after each battle. And it's really rare, especially the Tetradic Terra. <clears throat> but once you get it, you can um, transform them into sprint shoes. So I hope this video was useful, um, useful to you guys. Now that we have three pairs of sprint shoes, we have one already onto Lightning. Um, now that we have two more, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and put them on to Vanille and Fang. Alright, so I hope this video was useful to you guys. Enjoy the auto haste with all three of your battle characters at the start of battle. That really helps out. And yeah, um, if you want my opinion, the next thing you should go ahead and try and get onto your main attacker. Uh, I prefer it with lightning. It's an Aurora Scarf. Because what this does is it fully charges the wearer's ATV gauge prior to battle. Um, so as soon as you start the battle, you're going to have a full ATV gauge and you can just go ahead and like, um, yeah, you can go ahead and just like immediately unleash a full ATV gauge of attacks. Also, it increases your ATV rate to 10%, meaning that your ATV rate will charge 10% faster than normal. Um, so this with the uh, auto haste will cause your... ATB gauge to jet straight up meaning that you can just attack constantly and you hardly have to wait for it to charge um, If you have the Aurora scarf and sprint shoes and then like you have like the axis blade um, Because the axis blade does the same thing um, It's ATB charge for each attack your ATB um, gauge will recharge and Once you upgrade this it'll like increase your ATB rate to like 15% so it's like your <laughs> ATV gauge will constantly be full and you can just constantly attack with lightning. Especially when the Axis Blade is fully upgraded, transformed, fully upgraded, and then transformed again. It's like devastating. But yeah, alright, so I hope uh, this helped you guys out. Now that you guys got some pretty good accessories on, hopefully this will make the game go a lot more smoother for you guys and it's, it'll be more enjoyable. So I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13 after I've done my gale farming. And we'll talk about upgrading um, the Axis Blade for Lightning as well as the Pandorian Spear for Fang. See you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13.